Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this hetero style natural flowers with a lot of deviations and leaves. If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. I'm showing really easy and slowly and step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make those elements and those earrings by yourself. If it's too difficult for you to make these shapes in the center, you could only do the flowers, center them into earrings or rings or use them in necklaces, whatever you like. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and my Instagram pages. Remember to like, share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me only with this action. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use two 4 millimeter pearls, you could use any type of beads you like. These are earring findings in black color, you could use silver or, to, or whatever color you like. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and you could also use fire line for this project. Don't use soft nylon thread because it won't work. And here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And this is the earring that we're gonna be making today. So first I'm going to show you how to make these, these and these elements. And then I will show you how to assemble them. Okay guys. Now I'm going to start with the first, the biggest flower. Okay, I have about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here. Okay, 3 times 4 and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And then I pull and I will make one more knot here just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And when you pull make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot. Okay, so now I will go through two beads in this direction. And what I'm going to pick up are two red beads. Okay, two of them. And I'm going back in circle through these two black beads. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going through the next two beads. I'm taking two red beads and I'm going back in circle through them just like this. Okay, this is what I have. Then I'm going through the following two and I'm going to repeat the same thing Take two, go back like this and pull. Okay guys, and now I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay, now I have this and what I'm going to do next is go through these two black beads 
then what I'm going to do is go through this red one and now guys I want to flip my work it's not obligatory but I prefer to do this okay I'm flipping it in this direction and I'm taking an orange a yellow and an orange okay and as I'm exiting through one of those red beads I'm going through the other one just like this And then I'm taking just one black bead. And after I take it, I go in the first thread that's coming on my way. Then again, an orange, a yellow and an orange. Okay. Exiting out of one red, go through the other one. And take just one black bead. And now I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and after I finish this row, you see where I'm exiting. I'm exiting out of this orange bead. And in my next step, I'm going to take one orange, three yellows, and one orange. Okay, here is what I have here. And as I'm exiting through this orange, I'm skipping the yellow one and I'm going in my next orange. And then also in this direction to the center of my work. Okay, like this. Then what I do is reposition my thread and go out of this orange here that is next to the yellow, which is sticking out the most. Okay, orange next to the yellow. And I'm going to take an orange three yellows and one orange skip the one here in the center and go like this if you can you could go directly to the next orange or you could do it in two or more movements the way it's easier for you okay now i take this Okay, now continue these three more times until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding those five beads, the last five beads of this row. And now what I want to do is continue here and add an additional row of black beads okay I'm exiting between those two orange beads that are on the side of my work you see where my thread is and I'm going to pick up two black beads okay like this and I'm going in the same place between those two orange beads in my next petal okay then go here between the orange beads between the two orange on one side of my petal and I take two black beads and I go here between the orange ones okay I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay now I take two black beads go here and continue this and I'll meet you here okay and here I am 
where I'm adding my last two black beads. If you were not able to do this, just rewind the video, see how I make three of them and repeat them from here. Okay, so now I'm going through the three top yellow beads and I want to add some green beads. Okay, I'm taking the dark green beads, three of them. Okay, and I'm going here again through the top three yellow beads. Like this, top three yellows. And then I take three dark green beads and I go through the top three yellows. Show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until this row. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last three green beads from this row. And what I'm going to do now is take three red beads. Okay, and as I'm exiting through the first yellow, I skip the central yellow and I go through the next yellow and also through the green one. Okay, and now I take three light green beads, just like this. I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the next one and through the following yellow. I have this. Now I take three dark red beads, skip the one that's in the center and go through the yellow and through the following green. Then I'm taking three light green beads and I'm going through the green and through the following yellow. Then I take three red beads, skip uh, the yellow that's in the center and go through the yellow and through the following green. Then I'm taking three light green beads and I do the same thing. Skip one green, go through the following and through the yellow. Okay, I think you got the idea. Repeat this from here I'll, and I'll meet you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three light green beads here. Okay, now I want to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, let's say I'll make my knot here at the angle between the yellow and the green bead. Okay, and how I'm making my knot, I make here a loop. Then I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and then I cut my thread. Okay, so the first flower of my earring is ready. Now I will make the smaller flower. And for the smaller flower, I think two feet of thread or 60 centimeters will be enough. And I will start it the same way like I did before. I will take 12 black beads. Okay. I have my 12 here and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. Here what I want to do is make a knot. I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull really gently to be sure your thread is between those two beads. Okay, just like this. Then what I do is that I go through the following two beads like this and pull tight and now I'm going to pick up a red, an orange and a red, okay, 
I skip one bit and I go through the following. Just like this. Now I have this. Then I'm going to repeat it. A red, an orange and a red. Skip one bit and go through the following. Okay. Again, red, orange, red. Skip one bit and go through the following. Okay, and I'm going to finish this with three more moves and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beats again. I just want to tell you that if you can't do it, rewind the video and repeat first three steps in the last part of your circle. Okay, so now I have this and what I'm going to do is go through this red bead. And I'm going to pick up five yellow beads. Okay, I have my five beads here. And I'm skipping the orange bead. And I'm going through the red and then through the black and through the following red. And if you can, you could do this in one movement. Now, guys, as I'm exiting out of this red bead, what I'm going to take is again five yellow beads. Okay, five. And I'm going through the red, through the black one. And pull. And then I go also through the next red. This is what I have now. And I'm going to repeat it, exiting out of the red. I'm taking five yellows, five of them, and I'm skipping the orange and going here in this direction. Okay, and now I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last five yellow beads from this row okay just like this and what i'm going to do next is add an additional row of green beads how i do this i go here through these top three yellow beads and i'm exiting here between those two side yellow beads okay and i'm going to pick up two dark green beads and I'm going here between those two yellows or one yellow away from the red one okay then again I go through one two three yellows exit in the same place here you see where and I take two dark green beads and I'm going in the same place okay now continue this four more times and i'll be back and now i'm here where i'm adding my last two green beads from this row and what i want to do is exit out of these two dark green beads and i'm going to pick up three light green beads and i'm going back in circle through these two green beads and through the yellow you see what i'm doing and i pull when i pull you see here i have a loop between my beads because i'm going back in circle and now i need three red beads and as i'm exiting through this yellow skip the next yellow and go through the following, so the third yellow and the next two green beads. Then I take three light green beads, go back in circle through these two green beads and through the following yellow, like this. And then take three red beads, 
skip the yellow in the center and go through the next yellow and through the following two green beads. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this four more times. If you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind the video from here and repeat it. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and now I'm adding my last three red beads here. Three, uh, yes, three red beads. Okay, and now what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make a loop, go once, go second time through this loop I've made. And then I pull. And after that, I go through the next seed beads. And you could repeat this knot several times, but when you're ready, go through the following seed bead and cut your thread. Okay, the second element is ready. I will do the third one. Okay, and for the third element, I need this pearl. Okay, I'm going through it with a small amount of thread. Okay, and now I'm going to take a black, a red, an orange, a yellow and a green. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And as I'm holding my tail thread, I'm going back through this pearl and pull. Okay. Now, what I want to do is to make a knot here. And how I do this, I go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, like this. Now here, what I want to do is make a knot and I will stick my needle in my mat and I'm going to make a knot here. I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. Okay. Now I have this and I will go through the center of my work. Now I have it secured and I don't need to hold anything. Okay, now I'm going to repeat this. A black, a red, an orange, a an yellow and a green. Okay, now I'm going back through this pearl again. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to repeat this four more times. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my sixth row. I'm going for the sixth time, adding the same sequence of beads here. And now you see what I have. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is cut my tail thread. And also here, I will make a knot and cut this thread as well. How I do this, I choose a place. Like I showed you before, I make a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot. I pull. I'm going in this direction through some beads. And now I could cut my main thread and my tail thread. Okay. You could do more knots than I did here, just to show you. Okay, now I have this and the three of my elements are ready. These are the three elements that I'm going to be using. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back and I'm going to take my first element and I want to attach this new, new thread to it. Okay, now I'm going through some beads in this direction with my new thread and I'm attaching it the same way I showed you three or four times before. I make a loop holding my tail thread. I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I pull and then what I want to do is maybe repeat this knot a few more times and then go here at this green bead and then cut this tail thread okay 
Now guys, I'm going to pick up 25 of these beautiful dark green beads. Okay, I'll pick them up and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now here I have my 25 beads. 5 times 5, it's 25. And what I want to do next is attach here my earring finding. Okay, I'm taking my earring finding. And I will slide it down here to my work. Like this. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to take one green bead. And what I do is that I go back here through this first green. Okay, and I pull here gently, you see what I have, because I want to attach this uh, earring finding as close as possible to my work. Okay, now I will go several times around this loop here that I did. I'm going through one of the greens. Pulling here to my work, then I will go through the other one. Okay. Now I will go back through the newly added one, and then after that, I will go through four more beads in this direction. Okay, and pull. Now, this is what I have. Four more beads in this direction. And what I'm going to do is take five light green beads. Okay, I have my five here. Sliding those down. Okay, like this. I'm skipping the, the last, the fifth one. And I'm going back in circle through these dark green that I've just been through. Okay. So now I have this. Now what I want to take are four of these beautiful light green beads. And I'm going back here again through this last one at the top through the fifth one. I go back like this, then like this, through all of the beads, and then I want to go back again through the fourth bead that I've been through. Okay. Okay. Through the fourth that I've been through, and through the next one. It's a little bit tricky here. Again, it's not easy to show it on camera because you need space to do this. In my next step, I'm um, here, one, two, three, four beads away from here. And I'm going in the next one, in the next green. Okay, and I'm going here. And here I want to attach um, this part, you see, this part. Okay, I will take it here. And I'm going to pick up seven dark green beads. Okay, and I'm sliding those down like this. Then I'm going to take this ball that I did. And I'm going here from the green side. It doesn't matter which side, but since in my other earring it's from the green, I should repeat it here to be the same. Okay? Now what I do is that I go through all of those beads 
in this direction. Then in the first green of the seven that I added, I mean, and then back here, just to be sure it's attached well and nice. Okay, and pull to make it go to the other side of your work. Then one more time, and you could repeat this several times. When you're ready, you should go in this direction and through all of those seven beads. Okay. So now you have this. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go through five beads here. And I'm ready to attach my next, next element, okay? And in order to attach it, I'm going to take four of these beautiful dark green beads. Okay, four. Slide those down. And I'm going to take my earring, uh, sorry, my flower. And... I'm going here through this green bead that's sticking out the most. You see where I'm going. Now, what I do is that I take one more dark green bead and I'm going back through this first green bead. I showed you already this step once when I was attaching my earring finding. Okay. Now I'm going to pull really hard to make it stay to my work as close as possible. And now I'm going to reinforce. Okay, I'll reinforce it off camera several times and I'll be back. Okay, and now I will go back here through those beads in this direction after I reinforce this joint. And I'm pulling. Then, guys, what I do is that I go here in this direction and I go through four beads. You see, I'm going through four beads. And now, what I do is that I repeat this absolutely the same thing, but repeat it here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and if you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind the video to this point where I'm showing this one, make it and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and here I am where I just added this leaf here like I did before and now what I want to do is go here in this direction and add an additional bit to make this central flower stay really in the center of my work okay so now i'm exiting one sorry for the unfocusing part and now i'm exiting here at this uh, green bead one bead away one dark green green bead away from the light green which is this one here okay and i'm going back through this light green just like this making this stay in the center if it's not perfectly in the center don't worry it is a natural flower it shouldn't be perfect okay now i go in this direction and now it's time to cut my thread by making a knot first but I showed you so many times how I'm making my knot, so I won't show you now. But I just wanted to tell you that if you feel that your earring is soft, just go up and down and reinforce uh, this central part here of assembling and uh, you will be fine. Okay, see you in a while. 
Okay guys, and now my natural flowers. He chose tile earrings with a lot of leaves and a lot of deviations are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.